Hey, what's going on guys? Seminian here, and today I'm going to show you all the blast-resistant items and which ones are going to be the best for your nuclear bunker. Let's get into it, shall we? So, first things first, we have our multi debris at number 12 with a blast resistance of 12 here. This kind of sucks, basically. Don't want to use this. Next, we have our asphalt here. You know, this is for, like, roads and stuff. This is a whopping 60 on the blast resistance scale. This is also 60, which is the glowing asphalt. Next, we have large vinyl tiles at 72, accompanied um, along with the small vinyl tiles, also at 72. 96, we have the fire bricks. And at 120, we have reinforced glass, both the panels and the panes, or 120. At 180, we have reinforced glowstone, which is not a bad rating, honestly. It could be a lot better, though. Next, we have reinforced lamps which is at also at 180. Next step up here is 240 with our uh, reinforced sta uh, sandstone, which is a pretty good starter for, like, small, like, explosives. Next we have 360 for crushed obsidian. The one downside of this is it will it is affected by gravity. Don't expect to build a roof with that. <laughs> Next up we have light bricks, which is at 600 blast resistance, <clears throat> which is actually not too bad. That is uh, on your, that's your floor for your factories and stuff, or uh, those broadcast stations. I don't know what they're called. Next, we have our reinforced laminate uh, glass panels here. These are a whopping 60, um, 600 as well. Next, we have our marked concrete bricks. This is a whopping 900, which makes it almost, it makes it as bad as the uh, broken concrete bricks. So these two are the worst ones here. Next, we have the cracked uh, concrete bricks, which is all right. Could be better. At a whopping 12,000. At a whopping 1,200 blast resistance. And we're going to come over here. We have dense stone with a whopping uh, 2,400 blast resistance. Concrete's also at 2,400 blast resistance. So is concrete tiles. Asbestos concrete. Rio bar reinforced concrete. It's also the same blast rating. Next, our mossy concrete bricks are at a whopping 300. Uh, 3,600 blast resistance. Our concrete bricks are also 3,600 blast resistance. So is our CMB steel tile. And the next big one here is our uh, Ducrete here, which is at 4,800 um, 4, blast resistance. Our Ducrete tile also retains the same rigidity with uh, 4,800 blast resistance. Our obsidian bricks are the unblasted version of our Crushed Obsidian, which is at 48,000, 4,800 uh, blast resistance here. So it's reinforced stone. Our next big one here is our Uber Concrete, which uh, turns into that at some point. So probably don't want to make old base out of that. Next, we have our Compound Mesh at 6,000 um, blast resistance, which is actually pretty freaking good, honestly. Next, we have our Ducrete Bricks. Mind you, some of this stuff is going to be more expensive, so uh, just... Factor that into next time you want to build a base. Or my best bet personally would be the concrete bricks over here. They're relatively cheap and are relatively blast resistant. Reinforced stone I think would be another viable option. Alright, next we have our... Uh, we want to do creep bricks, right? N yes, do creep bricks are at uh, 7,200 7, blast resistance. Our reinforced do creep is at 14,000... 400 blast resistance and our reinforced combine bricks are at a 36,000 uh, blast resistance. So this is the most blast resistant block in the game. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Anyway, that is it for this video. There, This is a multi-part series, so I hope you guys enjoyed part one and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.